The Honorable Finance Minister yesterday stood in this house and uh, she likened us, the opposition, to Videsh ka dushman. And she said, we have jalan ka bhavna at India's growth. I stand here today to tell the Honorable Minister, wherever she may be, to tell this government, to tell this ruling party, that all of us here have given up our lives, our youth, our jibon, our jobon, as it were, to dedicate ourselves to the service of this great land, to the service of its people. We represent the farthest corners of this country, from Karimpur to Kutch, from Kadgodam to Kasargod. It is our inalienable right to ask the questions of this government. It is our right to question your incompetence. And it is this government's Raj Dharma that should make the Treasury benches sit down, listen to our voices, and not react like the proverbial Khisiani Billi. It requires enormous courage and tenacity to simply stand up here and speak the truth, and we are doing it. In contrast, the ruling party is moving from one incendiary issue to another, from the division of Bengal into North and South, to the Citizenship Amendment Bill, to releasing convicted lifetime murderers and rapists just before an election, to openly trying to challenge the judiciary into submission. You somehow keep hoping that you will scare India into submission and you will keep winning power term after term. But it's not working. You just went to election in three states. With all your might, with all your resources, you won and only won. The president of the ruling party could not hold on to his own home state. Who's the papu now? A certain honorable MP from the Treasury benches, who's given to trespassing in high security zones, who goads us all with equal measure of falsehood and fake bravado, yesterday took cheap pot shots at my state, the state of Bengal, with false claims of diversion of Manrega funds. To him I say this, sir, don't push your luck. I went to Mount Holyoke College, I worship Mark Kali, and I've been elected twice from a border constituency. In your lingo, I say to you, and this is not parliament, unparliamentary, don't take panga. A certain Jari Bhuti Baba says publicly, he likes women in saris, shalwars, and also nothing at all. In the presence of the wife of a deputy chief minister of the ruling party, hand on heart, ask yourselves, had any opposition leader said anything remotely similar, you would have been baying for their blood. The ruling party does not denounce it, there is no outrage. A convicted murder and rapist is publicly giving sermons while out on parole, and leaders of the ruling party are listening to it. You do not have the moral clarity to call out right from wrong. Who's the papu now? People tell me to keep quiet, to make peace in the name of soft Hindutva. I am Hindu, but I refuse to play soft anything. What this country needs is an elected government which plays hard morality, hard legality and hard economics, no soft anything. I urge this government and the finance minister to take control of the economy and I urge the people of India to take control over who they give the reins of this country to. This is a question that India needs to answer. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.